Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky, crazy kids in love that love reacting to Clone Wars. And we're going to Mandalore. Yeah. Uh, what's that? I mean, season five, episode 15, Shadows of Reason. The Sith and Death Watch launch an attack on Mandalore. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Alliances can stall true intentions. Hmm. Where are my targets? We've identified them at these locations. If we try to take Mandalore by force, our people will turn against us. Tack different targets across Sindare and sow chaos to undermine the Duchess's rule. Death Watch will capture and arrest us, bringing order where Satine's weak government could not. I'll prepare the troops. How do we know they'll keep their end of the bargain? We need those Sith and their thugs to cause some pain. After this is done, no one will doubt why we're in power. Then we execute Maul and those thugs. Those criminals will scatter and Mandalore will be ours. I believe Vizsla will betray us. We have no other choice. We need Vizsla as the face of our rule. Mm. The promise of wealth will find us a new face on Mandalore. Greed never fails to motivate. It's true. I am scanning life forms. I believe this spice shipment is infested. Surrender. My master is taking over these docks. You are now under the control. You such a tiny little face. Duchess, the shipping docks are under attack. You should the guy in the stomach. It appears to be a crime syndicate. Welcome to Mandalore. Oh! Oh. Stand down. They're now all slaves of the Black Sun Clan. It's the gangsters. Lock the vault. We're here for a withdrawal. The Black Sun is attacking the vaults. Send reinforcements. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. Yep, you're gonna need a lot of reinforcements. Keep your shield up, dude. Intergalactic Great acoustics in that place. This is a war, and we will win. Because he's not hooked up to like a mic or anything. True. Join me, and let us defend Mandalore against the criminals. His war will cause the end of Mandalore as we know it. We are under attack. There is no time for discussion. The name Mandalore should set fear into the hearts of these gangsters. Death wants to take action. As you wish, Lord Maul. We're Death Watch, and we're here to rescue you. You have my thanks, soldier. Thank Pre Vizsla. You're safe now. Stop them! They robbed the main vault! Oh. Keep up, you weaklings! Oh! And that's how they're going to take down Spaj. Okay, with the saber. This monster will not trouble the people of Mandalore any longer. Don't gloat too much, dude. Okay. I was pulling my punches so he could win. Oh yeah, Savage could wreck him. Pre Vizsla and his men have entered the palace. Should we stop them? How can we? The people are on their side now. No! There will be no bloodshed. Do you hear the people? They cry out for change. The resurrection of our warrior past is about to begin. Duchess Satine and the new Mandalorian leaders have fled in cowardice. Your new Prime Minister, Pre Vizsla, presents you with the lords of the most feared crime families in the galaxy. You cannot hold me here. I am the Duchess of Mandalore. Here for a visit. 
Or has peace betrayed you too, Duchess? Peace exists only in the minds of the faithful. Destitution leaves little room for faith. The supplies I bought on the black market kept you in power. Corruption is not the answer. Then enjoy your freedom, Duchess. You'll have plenty of time to tell me all about it. We now have the support of the people and Satine to bait Kenobi. With his demise, our deal will be complete. We now have a base and the means to expand to other neutral systems. I don't have an interest in the other systems. Your vision no longer matters. Kenobi will be dealt with, but now you'll do as I say. Oh. Yeah, this isn't gonna end well for you. We have learned from this beast the consequences of pacifist principles. No one will ever threaten us again! Fizzler has captured the support of his people. However, he is not their anointed leader yet. To place a leader under our control. By placing us in prison, unwittingly put us in reach of several candidates for his successor. Hmm. I wish a tour of this facility. Oh, Whoa. damn. Jesus. I thought he was going to do a mind trick on him, but then I was thinking, it's called a Jedi mind trick. Can the Sith do that? Where are the other leaders of your people? There's no one left now but Almec and I, but he's as corrupt and vile as you. Really? Perfect. Thank you for being so cooperative. <laughs> I don't know if they can do mind tricks. I don't think I've ever seen them. I can't remember. What was your position in this government? I'm the former prime minister. He's a murderer. He calls the death of children. Wait. What do you want from me? Mandalore a is in need of a prime minister. <laughs> we were. But how can two of you overthrow Vizsler and his supporters? I will challenge him to single combat in front of his men. He will not deny me. I challenge you. Only the strongest shall rule Mandalore. You made your bed. So be it. Give him his weapon. You could just move the fire down a little more. He doesn't seem to have used the force on him yet. Which yeah, I know. I was asking the same thing. The dude's holding his own. I'm impressed. First Darth Maul is a little out of practice. There goes your fancy jetpack. Oh. oh. Yes, dark saber. Only the strongest. I claim this sword, and my rightful place as leader. Yep, she won't go wrong. No outsider will ever rule Mandalore. <laughs> you will all die. You're all traitors. History will not see it that way. And how quickly they turn on their own. Yep. Don't worry, she'll be back. You guys are kind of slow on the uptake of that. They kept throwing bombs at you. Duchess Satine, the so-called pacifist, has murdered three visitors, the true hero of Mandalore. 
I know my past is checkered, but I promise you I take full responsibility for my people. Mandalore will be strong. We will be known as the warriors we were always meant to be. I shall waste no time in building my administration. I will hold you personally responsible for their failures. Yes, Master. Go. Rule my people. Ah, that was a good plan Darth Maul had. Very successful. Yeah, I gotta give, give him credit for that. Um, he saw it through and then he knew he was ultimately gonna be betrayed, but he didn't, and like he kind of had uh, a backup plan for if and when that happened, that if, you know, it was probably inevitable to happen as far as he was concerned. So yeah, he thought through um, everything. That shot of him at the end on the throne was just such a great image. It was such a terrible image, but such a great image. Um, yeah. Really good cinematography with that. To, to create that. Um, and it's nice to go back and, and revisit Satine from the earlier storyline. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit surprised by like her new wardrobe. It mm. seemed like, cause she was in sort of this all black and super dark blue from the start. It almost seemed like she was already in mourning for the country that was about to be lost. Oh jeez, yeah. That's just kind of how it struck me. Cause it, it seemed very, um, like a very subdued outfit from what we had seen her in in the Obi-Wan episode where she was all flirtatious and they were having a good time. Like just right away, her look was a lot more kind of, I don't know, like like conservative in a weird way for mm. her where it was just very, very tame and a bit dark. Uh, it just struck me as like her her version of funeral clothes. Oh, Bo Katan comes back in this uh, series and um, maybe teams up with uh, Obi Wan and the, and the Jedi to help take down uh, Darth Maul and everybody. Um, I mean, because she's got to get that saber at some point um, back. So, yeah. So I'm looking to see. I'm looking forward to seeing how how, how that goes. And uh, I love that moment when. Darth Maul was just like, yeah, you know, I want to see, I, I want to tour this facility, and uh, Savage just broke free, and like it was like, it was great because I mean, you know, you you knew Maul could do it, and it's just as powerful and more powerful. But I mean, since Savage is so big, it just like you know that imagery was uh, was cool. Yeah, um, with Bo Katan, it's interesting to to learn about her checkered past, mm -hmm. um, and I am very curious to continue following her to see how she gets from here to where we ultimately know her from, which yeah. is the Mandalorian. And I like that she didn't just turn and bend the knee. Yeah. Um, even though by like Mandalorian standards, that was wrong and kind of made her a traitor of their creed or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that she has a mind of her own, the fact that she's willing to follow her gut instinct and what she knows to be right or wrong, um, and that she was not willing to just blindly follow and not willing to just like, okay, I know that you are a piece of garbage, Darth Maul, but I will bend the knee because that's what I'm supposed mm -hmm. to do. Like, that's not a good enough reason. Yeah. Um, so she really earned my respect in that moment. And, and I was like, ah, I was like, okay, there's like that hint of the Bo-Katan that we know. Like there's a little bit of that fire and a little bit of that leadership coming through. Well, I mean, yeah, and it fits her character from what we know her as in, uh, in, from the Mandalorian um, later on when she like will uh, not follow tradition or, or whatever or the rules just, be, just because that, that that's what she's supposed to do. Yeah. Um, you know, in, the, in her mind, you know, no outsider should be ruling Mandalore and that above that trumps the whole, oh, well, you beat our guys, so now we have to serve you. Um, so there are certain rules that are like, yeah, that, 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 that mean more. Um, now, did you think that the look at the end when uh, the leader of um, Death Watch died, Darth Maul killed him, the look that bo gave, was that like a look of, oh my God, they just killed like the man I love, or oh my God, they just killed like my leader and... Both thoughts crossed my mind. Yeah. So so it wasn't far off. I think I think what they were going for was leader. Yeah. Um, and I think this guy had maybe earned her love for him as a leader. Mm. I don't think they were romantically involved, but of course, if I learned that they had been, I wouldn't be surprised based on her reaction. Yeah. It could also be the the death of like, you know, the they finally got what they wanted. 
you know, him in control of, of Mandalore and being in control of Mandalore and like them, her thinking that, you know, the rightful ruler is there and then just to get it like gone like that, um, that could be the shock as well. So I don't know. It was, it was a good look though. I also noticed, and, and I've noticed it in other episodes, but I don't think I've ever commented on it. It's very interesting to me the way the dark saber cuts through the air because it kind of in some ways looks like lightsaber-esque. Mm. And yet as it slices through, it kind of like leaves a trail. So like sometimes the shape that it makes, like there'll be moments where it looks more square-esque as it slices through as opposed to a lightsaber that just slices through. Like yeah. it doesn't leave that trail of whatever it is, energy, dark power, dark matter. I don't know. But <laughs> um, it's just something that is I especially notice in the Darth Maul and Darksaber fight because the juxtaposition was so obvious in that one. And I just found that very interesting. So... For those who know a lot about the dark saber, do tell us more as to why it looks like that. And another good fight. They have had some good uh, fight choreography in these last uh, few episodes. I thought that they were, um, yeah, I was, I'm impressed. You'll let us know what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you want all of our Clone Wars reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you as well as a link to our Patreon. We can get early ad free access. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for the Clone Wars season five, episode 15, which keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.